Hello and welcome to this quick five point demo video on how to use the Withstand platform and how to get started. First thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Withstand page with the withstand.iconicsusa.com. First, if you haven't already signed up, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Here, you can pick your subscriptions and any premium add ons you want and then sign up. You can also do a 30 day free trial to see if the software is going to work for you. If you already have a login or have created it, you can go to this page and sign in. The first thing is if you don't have the instrument software downloaded on your PC, is you're going to be prompt loaded to download it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Go ahead and hit download. And once the download's complete, go ahead and run it. It'll run in the background. And at that point, you're going to see the screen change to show the software is downloaded and that you can now connect an instrument. And what you'll see is this screen change here to show that the software has been downloaded and that we're ready to use it. So now that it's downloaded, it's telling me that I currently don't have an instrument connected. Here are the available instruments on my particular subscription. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect to my unit. And it's telling me I'm trying to connect. Once it is connected, you're gonna see it highlighted in green, which means you're ready to go. The first thing I would do is go ahead and create some test files. On this page, you can see all of the test files I've created across the platform with all of the users that I have on the platform. So I can see the test ID, my instrument, the test file name, number of steps, where it's located, whether that be the cloud or the instrument, and then the date and time. So here I can go ahead and edit or copy test files and do something like Let's just say edit a parameter just to see how that works, save it, and save my test file to the cloud. And we can see that it was created and we're good to go. Next, I would just go ahead and run the test. Now from here, I can see that I can select any test file that I've created. So I'll just go ahead and select this one. And I can also see that I have my interlock status showing me that my interlock is in fact closed and the instrument is safe to use. And you can also see you can toggle fail stop and single step right from this screen. So let's go ahead and run the test. You get your status indicators and your pass fail indicators right on screen. Once I'm done, viewing test results is simple. I can either go to reports or just view test results. So I can review the standard test result or the advanced result, which gives you a little bit more information. And if I so choose, I can export these to an Excel spreadsheet or print the report. And in printing the report, you can see I can go here, print any information I want, standard or advanced, and go ahead and print that to a PDF. Stay tuned for more Withstand Usage Platform videos.